Hi, I'm Kirill Gavrilyuk. I lead the product team responsible for Azure mobile backend capabilities. One of the strengths of Azure as a cloud platform is extensive set of application services, ranging from enterprise messaging to IoT, as well as predictive analytics and machine learning. At the core of these application services lies Azure App Service, Azure App Platform that is capable of hosting any of your app types, whether it's websites, mobile, backend APIs, APIs, integration, you name it. Today, we're gonna talk about App Service mobile capabilities, and there are quite a few of those. All of them are available to you via SDKs we offer for iOS and Android natively or cross-platform frameworks using Xamarin or Cordova, or, and of course, REST APIs. With App Service Mobile, you can connect to a variety of data stores, whether it's SQL in the cloud or on-premises, or software as a service APIs like Office 365, Salesforce, and Dynamics. You can build your apps, enable users to work with data offline, and then synchronize with those data stores using our data sync capability. You can authenticate using social identity providers or Azure Active Directory, send cross-platform push notifications, and more. And of course, all these capabilities can be extended using your custom code running in the backend in app service in any of the languages supported, whether it's .NET, whether it's Node, PHP, Java, you name it. You can take advantage of a variety of code hosting capabilities that App Service provides. Let's take a look at the demo of mobile apps. It's easy to create a mobile app backend with App Service. Just go to, in the Azure portal, select New, select Web Plus Mobile, and pick any of the app service templates right here. You can add mobile app capabilities to any of the app service apps running, whether it's a website or an API. Now, I already have an app, an app backend created right here, but I did not do anything with it, so it's just a blank app. There is no code there, no capabilities enabled whatsoever. What I need to do is I, need to, I want to add a simple CRUD API for managing my to-do items. Yes, we're gonna build a very simple to-do list. Thanks to me, uh, uh, thankfully, in App Service, we provide a very easy no-code authoring experience for CRUD API, so I can do it in, other, in just a few seconds. I go here in Settings, Easy Tables, I'm gonna add a new table, I'm gonna call it, and what I'm doing is I'm adding a simple CRUD API. I'm gonna add it to do item, I'm gonna leave everything by default. Then I'm gonna go to this table, and I can browse here the, the data that now, of course, I don't have any data right now. I can also add additional columns and manage, ba do basic management operations on the schema for my uh, data. So I'm gonna add a column here, text of type string, and I'm gonna add another column here called complete of type boolean. Great, so now I have a simple CRUD API in the cloud. I did not write a single line of code and it's backed by SQL Azure. And again, I didn't have to do with anything with SQL Azure either. Just needed to provide uh, the SQL instance to my app service app, that's all. So let's take a look. Uh, I have a to-do list app already written using Swift in my Xcode and I am connecting to my backend here, Kiroji Connect Demo, the URL is right. Yep, that's correct. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run it, and it's gonna talk to a to-do item template, a to-do to -do item API right here. And notice that you can infer from this code that I'm, use, I'm actually build this app that can work offline. I'm using our data sync APIs, and I'm gonna create a sync context here, and it uses MS Core data underneath the covers. So I'm gonna run this app, Now, of course, there is no, there is no data right now um, that, uh, because I didn't add anything. There is no data on the client or on the server. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a new item. Save it. Now, because this app works offline, I need to sync in order to get this data over to the backend API. 
to our to-do item temp table. Now let's get back to our app service instance and let's take a look at our to-do item temp table. And let's refresh to see if there is any data. And here you go, our get milk item is already added. Great. The other interesting thing that AppService Mobile provides for this no-code authoring experience is ability to add code, to add your business logic into your CRUD, inject it into your CRUD API. So to do this, we're using Visual Studio Online, and it gives us a uh, browser-based authoring experience. So I'm gonna, here I already opened my Visual Studio Online, and I'm gonna see here hopefully any time now. And I see here uh, to-do item placeholder. This is where I can add my code. So what I'm gonna do is gonna add override insert operation. And I'm gonna add a little bit check. So if there is any word milk in my to-do items, I'm gonna add some silly emotional statement about milk. Great. So Visual Studio Online automatically saves my changes over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my app and I'm gonna add another item. And of course I need to sync it again, right? Because this app works offline and doesn't assume network, network connectivity. Now, what should happen now is my text of my item should change once the sync is completes. And, and here you go, we just, we just saw our backend logic kicked in. We did not have to redeploy anything, we did not have to reset anything, our client app didn't need to restart, and our logic just got enabled by Azure, uh, by App Service mobile apps. So that's great, there are many more uh, Capabilities are available for you in AppService Mobile. Right here in the Settings tab, you can choose and you can use uh, easy tables. You can use configure your push notifications, data. You can build not, uh, this particular backend was written using no code authoring experience. You can build much more complicated, sophisticated APIs using .NET, using Visual Studio, and publish it to AppService. You can add your mobile backend APIs to your existing websites, your MVC, MVC web apps. Uh, and take advantage of data sync and push notifications and other capabilities in app service. With that, I'm excited to announce that starting November 30th, you can build new production apps using app service mobile capabilities, including the new mobile apps.NET SDK. If you need to use Node.js SDK, the new Node.js SDK to build a backend for your app, that SDK still remains in preview. However, you can migrate your existing mobile services, whether they are written in Node or .NET, to app service and will support it with full SLA up to 99.95. You can use app service mobile capabilities with any of your app types, whether it's your existing websites, APIs, or new mobile apps, of course. With this update, we're releasing a number of features. We offer you codeless authoring experience for mobile APIs that I just demonstrated. You can now configure authentication without code, one click, and use it across your web and mobile apps. The data sync capabilities that we have now supports syncing files in addition to structured data. And you can migrate your mobile services with one click of a button to app service, preserving URL, no downtime. Let's take a look at an example of app service mobile used in production by Transport for London. Transport for London manages London Tube, among other things, enjoys millions of customers and thousands of employees. And TFL offered those employees an app to be able to report any assets need repair in any of the underground stations. Of course, this app needs to be able to authenticate employees using corporate credentials enables them to work with data offline and then synchronize the data to an on-premise asset management system that they already used. Of course, sending push alerts using push notifications and many other capabilities that employees would need in such an app. Here is a simple uh, diagram illustrating how this app is, was built using App Service mobile capabilities. TFL used Azure Active Directory to authenticate employees. 
They used AppService mobile capabilities, including data sync to synchronize structured data and files. Uh, images and photos of the assets need repairing. And App Service instance was put in App Service environments that enabled TFL to join their App Service instance in a virtual private network to access the on premises ERP systems that they used. They used many other capabilities like push notifications and so on. You can build such an app yourself. Try it now using our App Service Try It Now experience at this URL. And Pick any of the enterprise app templates. You don't have to even sign up for Azure. You can just sign in using your social identity, Facebook or Google, and give it a try. If you do already have a mobile service, whether it's written in Node or .NET, you might want to migrate it today to App Service. There are a number of features an App Service has that mobile services didn't have, including rich enterprise feature set, including full VPN support, as well as scheduled backups and role-based access. It's a fully managed platform with a much richer outer scale capabilities, CDN support, dedicated API address, and so forth. And App Service offers much richer DevOps capability, including integration with a number of continuous integration systems, of course, including Visual Studio Online. Um, and staging slots, testing in production, you name it. Let's take a look at the demo of how easy it is to migrate your mobile service. In order to migrate your mobile service, we added a button in the uh, original old version of Azure Portal. So here I have my mobile service, Kirill G Mobile Service, and here you will find a new button appear that allows you with one click to migrate your service to App Service. Obviously, we explain you what's going to happen behind the scenes. This migration will, will be performed without any downtime and will preserve your URL. And you'll be able to use all the new app service uh, functionality once migration is complete. Migration takes about 15 minutes, so I'm not going to perform it on this side, but I already migrated one of my other mobile services, KDLG Mobile Service 2. And you can see that it preserved my, my URL azure-mobile.net, right? So this is my mobile service migrated to app service, and now I can go ahead and add uh, deployment slot, additional deployment slots, I can start backing up my site, I can integrate with, uh, with any of the continuous integration systems, including Visual Studio Online, and many more app service features. Migrate your Node and .NET mobile services today to app service and take advantage of all these new capabilities. You can learn more about App Service through our tutorials and documentation. Uh, try it out today without even having a need to sign up for Azure, and take a look at our a variety of samples, including enterprise app templates. See more videos about Azure and Visual Studio on Channel 9 and Microsoft Virtual Academy. Thank you, and happy coding.